from last summer's great heat wave to the beast from the east. Finding out what Mother Nature has in store for us is a national preoccupation. The weather forecasters we rely on are themselves relying on delicate satellite instruments to find out what's going on in the atmosphere. But as 5G moves from a plan to reality, that crucial weather data may no longer be reliable. The new 5G frequencies will allow instant connections to billions of devices. But meteorologists' satellites also use some of those frequencies to measure things like water vapour, rain, snow, atmospheric temperature, cloud and ice. Water vapour, for instance, emits a natural signal at 23.8 gigahertz, so satellites use that to monitor weather systems. But some of the 5G frequencies already sold off to networks are very close to 23.8 gigahertz, which could interfere with critical weather data. During Cyclone Fanny in India a few days ago, satellites kept a constant eye on the storm and helped authorities warn people when to leave. Forecasters say without data like that, lives could be at risk. This is the new boy, the noisy neighbour coming onto the scene and there, there could well be a conflict. If you take away that part of the weather forecast, if you like, um, it's, it's going to, by, by very, its very nature, uh, make, make life more difficult for weather forecasts to be able to piece those uh, pieces together in terms of being able to look down on the earth, look to see where the, the storms are, the hurricanes, the typhoons and other things as well. This mast on a building here in East London is just one of several sites in the UK already trying out the new 5G technology. Not so much a distant dream as already a fact here on the ground. And in the US, it's being rolled out in cities like Chicago and Minneapolis. And frequencies close to that all-important 23.8 gigahertz have already been auctioned off, which is why forecasters are speaking out. We need to look at how the rest of the international community will handle these particular frequencies for 5G because if we lose skill forecasting the weather over North America, that will have downwind effects in Europe. We looked at uh, Superstorm Sandy here in the United States and without some of these millimeter wave bands uh, from weather satellites, Sandy would have actually gone toward Europe. And as we know, with devastating consequences, Sandy made landfall in the eastern coast of the United States. And it turned out that weather satellites with these millimeter wave frequencies were very important in informing that forecast three to four days out. As our weather gets more extreme, the issue gets ever more important. International regulators will decide this October on which frequencies can be used for 5G. Meteorologists are hoping the winds of change will be gentle ones. Lorna Shaddock, Sky News.